welcome back and we are at like I said on my other vlog we are at the main campus of the Apple well, for Apple the Apple store you guys seen a lot of these shots already I think like people after a lot of the vloggers when they buy stuff and they come in here but I think we can just take a cruise How excited are you? I'm pretty excited. I mean, we haven't seen the new iPads yet. They, they should have it here, right? Oh, absolutely. They, uh, They've been out for like a week now. So check this out. I guess this is like something we can go see. Go ahead, dude. And here's the. Is this the new one? This is the new iPhone Air. 13 inch and 11 inch because they made two sizes now. Oh, this iPad. That's what they were saying. They're like, why would you even buy a regular iPad if you still buy the iPad Air? Right? Yeah. I mean, as far as we're aware, this, these are basically the old iPad Pros. Pretty much, right? Yeah. So here's the new iPad Pros. Is this new one? Yeah, this is new one. It's a Pencil Pro. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it does have HEPA <laughs> feedback. Really Squeeze it. Yeah. Haptic feedback. Oh. Oh, that's kind of trippy. What? It feels like you're actually squeezing it. Yeah. The haptic feedback. I don't know, I've never had a pencil with that feel before, though. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Wait, look. Dude. No, the nano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Get to kind of see it. There's the. It's not bad. You know what? I thought it would be further away. Right? Good thing. Hello, but oh, you know what? Look, they get a different experience. I think we passed her. Okay, so one of the things he gets to do right now is we actually get the iPad. Powered by Unreal Engine. That's hilarious. Just keep aiming it. I, I got you, don't worry. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It just over. That's so cool. Yeah, so I think I can change the time of day too. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the other buttons do. Just keep going to your right, maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll record over your shoulder. Yeah, so like we thought initially, this is the parking lot. Yeah. I think they had a moving car in there somewhere. Did it? I think oh so. yeah, the cars move. Yeah, you can see it on the road. Oh yeah. Oh, is it live right now? I doubt it's live, because this is 10 a.m. Oh yeah, okay, okay. That's so cool. See the the layouts here, but this is what it looks like. Yep. As Justin and I are enjoying our desserts here, I think um we spent enough money with Apple. Yeah. Since we're at the headquarters store, 
you want to do a reconciliation of how many devices we have. Let's start with you. Actually, you know what? Let's start with mom. How about that? Okay. We, we're going to count every device we have, including the ones that, um, including the ones that um, the school gave her. Okay. So she has a MacBook Air and then an iPad. That's from her schoolwork. Yep. Okay. Then personally, she has a MacBook Air 15 inch, mm -hmm. iPhone, and headphones. Yep. That's five. Yep. Okay. That's mom, your sister. Your sister has headphones, MacBook Air, iPad, yep. and an iPhone. Yep. AirTag. Does she have one or two? One. One AirTag, okay. So that's nine devices already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine. Now let's go with you. I have my phone, Apple Watch, AirPods, AirPods Max, iPad. Did I count the Mac yet? I don't no. think I counted the Mac yet. Two AirTags. I'm not gonna count the HomePods. Oh I'll, God. I'll classify that under you. <laughs> there's like 14 HomePods or something. There's 16 HomePods. There's 16 Home, okay, there's 16 HomePods. Okay, so I myself have eight devices. <laughs> I totally forgot the HomePods. We, we have okay. We have like, we have like twelve or I think twelve or thirteen HomePod, HomePod, like not the petite ones, HomePod. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, well, you think about your devices. I'll look at the the HomePod list in our home app. So nine plus how many you have so far? I have eight. That's seventeen. Right? Okay. So, so now is now is my turn. Before we get to that, oh, we, we you know what? We need to. Okay. It was face tracking behind us. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Before you get to that, go before ahead. we get to that, he thought we have sixteen home pods. Oh, uh, I got we it have wrong. Twenty-one home pods. What? Right, because the ones in pairs are two. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Did I miscount? <laughs> we had twenty-three home. Okay, we have twenty-three home pods. I think we have a problem. <laughs> um We have twenty-three home pods. Then again, we actually have HomePod in the laundry room. Yeah, that's, that's what I was counting from yeah. the home app. Okay. Okay, so we're at 17 plus 23, 40 devices. Far. Now it's my turn. Hmm. Actually, your sister still has an Apple Watch that she never used, the old one, remember? Did, does she, or did we give that away? Okay, let's not count that. Okay. Then comes where mine, Apple Watch, iPhone, iPad, and I have more than one iPad. Yeah. The kitchen one. Yep. The one I use. Yep. So There's two iPads. MacBook Pro. Then we can. I have the MacBook Mac Studio. Mac Studio. Yep. You know what you forgot? What? AirPods. I counted my oh, AirPods. Oh, AirPods. And AirPods Max. AirPods and AirPods Max I got. I got AirTag. So I'm up to nine so far. Yep. So what, what's that totaling for us? 49. We have 40, approximately 49. Just Apple devices. Apple devices. Do we count pencils as individual? Okay. 
because I because those are considered an accessory on the website, I'm not going to count those because then we would also count the magic keyboard. Okay. But then again, we also counted air tags, so I guess the line's a little blurred there. Okay, even if you take away the air, air tags, which is we like still have over 40 Apple 40. devices. So, dude, they should be taken out to lunch here. <laughs> and so we have to pay money to buy these things. And they're delicious, I by the way. They are very good. They're really good. Just needed something to pick me up doing a kind of a lunch thing or after lunch. Yep. What um? What do you think? We've been to. We've been to, of course, the Google, the museum, and then now Apple. We've been actually we've been here twice. We might get flagged because there's music playing in the back. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully the mics don't pick it up. Hopefully they won't. But I'll do something filtering. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, as we continue our discussion. Impressive is definitely here, right? Definitely. Just because of the architecture. Yeah. Apple put a lot into their campus. And even though we weren't able to like actually see the building, just the parts of it you can't see, it's so much bigger than you would think it is. And then just this building along, this headquarters store. Yeah. You can see how the design language really carry across the board, mm -hmm. starting with the materials that they use for their furniture, the grounds, and even when we went to the um, restrooms. Yeah, I was going to point that out as well. Um, it's not it's not just me that has, it's like the whole, it, we always visit restaurants because we, we can tell a lot about a um, restaurant, especially the cleanliness, the organization, um, and, and the efforts that people put into restrooms. Yep. And what I would say to you is, um, it was kind of funny. We couldn't, of course we couldn't record in there, but I struggled to find the door a little bit, the exit door. Yeah. Because um, it was just a blur. It was like, imagine you went to a, 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 a retail store, clothing store, when you got dressing room, you couldn't find a door to get out. Yeah, it just looks like a hallway. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. But anyways, it was, it was cool. Um, and then of course the observatory that we will go back upstairs and, um, and tidy this whole vlog up and really gather our thoughts. It's just, you know, to start it off, we think we, there's no doubts. The Apple building is the most together building. So. I think the best experience of the three was definitely Google some, cause you actually got to walk around the buildings and stuff. While you couldn't go in those, you actually got to see their campus in person which that's that's kind of what i wanted to do here but yeah so yeah google, google was a little bit more open in regards to allowing you to just roam around their campus um that it kind of uh, that have a slight open door policy where come on in walk around yep i mean we couldn't get in the buildings why they didn't scold us for riding their bikes you're not supposed to ride their bikes mm -hmm. um which was cool. I can respect that, especially in 2024 liability. Yep. Right? Some buffoon could be drunk riding their bike and crashing. Oh, I'm suing you. Yeah. And, and, and just in case you ever visit the campus, the Google campus, literally every single um, display of their statues do not climb. Yeah. <laughs> There, there's a do not climb sign on every single one of them, so. They have this spinning rock. <laughs> Literally, it just, it just spins. It's just a rock. It, and it spins, but it's a huge rock. I don't let it, I mean, it's almost boulder-like. Don't let it drop on you. So anyways, we're gonna finish up with dessert and then we're gonna go upstairs and tie up this vlog. Yep. Okay, so we are at the campus here. Uh, you can see, you can kind of see yeah, the background. You can kind of see it. The Infinity Loop. Um, no doubt, this is the most impressive building. Not, not just because of the scenes that we can see, but um, it, it's just you can see the you can see it's like a big spaceship. It's just so cool. 
um, we, we showed you the virtual tour that they had. You know, it kind of you saw a glimpse of that. Um, I, I thought I thought this was a really cool experience coming up there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they they're not letting us into the campus, which kind of sucks. But then you know they had an, a whole augmented reality experience downstairs, which I think that's a good compromise. Yeah, I mean, well, we 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 drove seven hours up here because of the charging. Other rides have been six hours. Yeah. Um, hopefully you stay tuned and watch the. Uh, autopilot uh, back and forth also because that was an adventure on its own. Um, I know a lot of people out there vlog for the FSD, the, what it can do, what it can't do, but that, that's a whole different story. But to, to kind of sum this particular uh, trip up, again, we went to the museum, the computer museum, historical museum here at, in Corpatino. Yep. And then we went to Google. We tried to go to uh, the, uh, Microsoft, but it, they said it's just a bunch of offices. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, because uh, once again, I think Microsoft is a company up, Seattle. In, Wa yeah, Seattle. up in Washington. So yeah. they, they shouldn't really be out here in California. What I would say about the Google campus is that um, it, it's the newer portion. There, there's no doubt it's historical portions, right? Where they had um, other business buildings like yep. the campus itself. It, it, it's nice, but it's, it doesn't seem as grand as what I have seen on on various channels and so forth. Yeah. For me, it, it's it's a little bit more. I, I guess everything is larger when you're not there, right? But once you got there, it was a little bit smaller, but it was nice. And we got to do a decent amount of stuff. We can walk around, like we said. We can explore a little bit. We just can't go inside the building. Yeah. Um, we had lunch there. We did do that. Yeah. They did have a cafe which uh, visitors could eat at, which was quite nice. Right. And I mentioned already that, you know, you're not supposed to ride the bikes, um, but it, it was fine. Uh, parking was pretty easy. It wasn't harsh. There was no charge. Yeah. I mean, it was, there were a bunch of other visitors, so it, it was kind of packed, but it wasn't to the point where like you, you just can't find parking. Right. And same here. Same thing at this uh, flagship store yep. here in Corpitino. Uh, they have a underground parking and this have tops of parking spaces here. But one thing we did notice, like we said when we was coming here, we did notice that they didn't have a genius bar. Yeah, I I didn't notice that until we pointed it out. There, it's just the storefront. They did have um, I, I, maybe. Hopefully, I would include some of that uh, snippet. They did have classes downstairs, which has this beautiful, grand, large screen. Yep. Um, so that was pretty cool, but they did not seem to have a genius bar, which was pretty interesting because Justin has a tiny, tiny burn pixel on his- There's uh, two. There's two. Or two or sorry, two. Oh, you, can literally, you only can see it with a microscope. And no, I can also see it in bed. He tried to prove it to the genius in Irvine and the genius couldn't see it. No, you know what? He could. He couldn't really see it. He yeah. saw the video of the one that he took. But anyways, that's a different story. <laughs> but to me, for that, I think that's a bad apple. But in, in the grand scheme of things, you know, when I first, I was kind of skeptical about this trip. And and additional types of observation is that um, because I'm in the financial industry and banks try to do it, uh, especially uh, places that, um, like Capital One and Citibank, they try to create branches and then have cafes inside to make it more of a lifestyle thing. And I think this flagship store and even the Google campuses try to do that. And this is the, this is the flagship store has a huge cafe area that actually worked. Because yeah. we're at the rooftop right now and we get to enjoy the sceneries and everything. And, and, and it's, 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 it's just really cool. It's really cool from that perspective. And we enjoyed it. And, um, you know, it's just the cafe, the enjoying the full experience, it works here. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it, it seems like it works here. Um, I, I think they should do that in more stores. I don't think it'll work as well in other places because like, this store, they want you to stay and experience what they have to offer. Because, like, you can't get this anywhere else. No, but granted that the rooftop experience, nothing like it. Um, very, they, they put, obviously, they put a lot of thoughts into it. I mean, look at the perfect lighting and it's just the perfect atmosphere. I mean, it's a, I'm not in Southern Cal right now. We're in Northern Cal. It's yeah. just beautiful. It's, uh, what, mid-60s today? Yeah, it's mid-60s. It, it nice it's weather. Beautiful. A little bit windy, but fine. 
and here's the difference between from where we at, where we live versus where we at. There are trees. Yep. Where we live, barely have any trees. Like if trees, they're like palm trees. Yeah. You Most know? of the time we just get the, the freeway wall. Exactly. And this is just, this is beautiful. Anyways, okay. What are your last thoughts? Um, the last thing I do want to mention about this campus is they designed it in such a way that you also can't see it from the freeway. Okay. <laughs> and, and for me, it's just, it, it, it's a beautiful building. It, it's a very beautiful building. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not, not a big deal. They might make a tour vlog, but it's okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful building. It, it really is. It's just a beautiful building, beautiful campus. Wish we could see more, but for, for the taste that we got, it, it wasn't bad. I really enjoyed the experience. I yep. appreciate you letting, you know, asking us and inviting us to, to come up. It, it's, it's a cool experience. I would, I would say if you're near the area, do it. Just take, you don't need a full day. You don't need to do a two day experience like we did. Take a little bit of time, just come out here, just yep. experience it. I mean, I think, I think um, ChatGPT tour guide did it best. Um, go, go and try it out, ask it, and they give you this itinerary. It works. Yeah, that was, that was the most interesting part about it. I was skeptical when he threw it into ChatGPT, but it, it worked. I feel like we saw everything we yeah. wanted to. So anyways, hey, stay tuned. Really appreciate your support. Um, until that time comes, peace yeah. out. Take care.